Okay, hello, um, my name is Amit Power, and I'm going to show you how to scan for the supra inguinal fascia iliaca block. We've got our model lying supine here. That is cephalad, this is cordad. If I put my fingers over here, I'm palpating over the anterior superior iliac spine. So for a supra inguinal fascia iliaca uh, block, I'm going to place my probe directly over um, the anterior superior iliac spine. Uh, so you can see that bright white structure showing up. I'm not going to put too much pressure on here because it feels uncomfortable to be scanning over bone. But there's the anterior superior iliac spine. Um, this is cephalad, the right hand side of the screen over here. If I lift it off, you'll see it's cephalad. The left hand side of the screen is cordad. So having identified the anterior superior iliac spine, to scan for a super inguinal fascia iliac block, I'm just going to slide the probe medial. So from lateral, slide it medial. As soon as I do that, you'll notice you get something on the screen. You get bone down here, which is the anterior inferior iliac spine infralateral down here so on this aspect the left hand side of the screen infralateral is sartorius supramedial up here on the right hand side of the screen is the internal oblique and this is ilia psoas now having slid directly off the anterior superior iliac spine i'm just going to expose where the belly button is right over there i'm just going to direct the cephalopod part of the probe ever so slightly towards the belly button and now i've got a nice view on the screen we've got the classic bow tie appearance this is the um, is the sartorius? That's the middle part um, of the uh, uh, the middle part of the iliacus muscle, and here is the internal oblique. So I get those out of the way. Now you can see if you were going to perform a supraingual fascia iliaca block, what you need to do is bring your needle in from the infralateral aspect, pop through the uh, sartorius muscle, inject low clansetic underneath the fascia iliaca. So low clansetic dives down towards the pelvic brim, uh, aiming to get the anterior aspect of the um, lumbar plexus from the anterior aspect. Now, if I put the color Doppler on here, hopefully, and move that out of the way, hopefully we'll be able to identify the deep circumflex iliac artery, which is your ultrasound landmark. I'm just starting, there we go. So there's a deep circumflex iliac artery. You can see how it's resting on that surface of iliacus. So when you perform your supraingual fascia iliac block, as local anesthetic is deep to fascia iliaca, you should see that deep circumflex iliac artery push up and out of the way. So, superingual fascia iliaca block, the probe starts off on the anterior superior iliac spine, slide off towards the midline. Infralateral, you've got the um, sartorius, here's iliacus, and here's internal oblique. And you want to bring your needle in from infralateral to supramedial. Injecting low clansic deep to the fascia of the iliacus. So low clansic dry dives down in that way, and you want to be deep to the deep circumflex iliac artery.